mission, I'ma show you what's up. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, K Wonderboy, a.k.a. Wonderboy, a.k.a. Don't Forget the Boy. And before I even get started, I want to introduce myself as a songwriter. Okay, I'm an artist, um, lyricist, all of those great and wonderful things. And one of the many things that I do is help people write songs. Okay, I ghostwrite. I write songs for people. I am the guy in the dark writing those hits, you know, all that and today we're going to be talking about five reasons, okay? Five reasons why you are finding it difficult to write music. A lot of people are struggling to write music. They are struggling to get into a creative groove, but have absolutely no idea why. Or five things you might be doing that are impeding you or keeping you from being able to successfully write music, okay? Let's get into it. So the first thing that I think a lot of people are not privy to, okay, is experience, okay? Experience and trying or have never done it or have tried to do it very few times and just jump into it and think that they're just supposed to be writing hits on hits on hits on hits on hits just like that. If it was that easy, people wouldn't need writers. It's not that easy, okay? It can be that easy, but it is not. That is the sad reality of it, okay? A lot of you need experience, okay? Even if you've never completed a song, keep trying, keep trying, keep doing, keep learning and growing from mistakes you make and learn from the great things you make, okay? You're going to make some bad things. You're going to make some good things. But the key is to keep trying and keep learning and keep putting that formula together for success. A lot of people are not successful writing music because they're not writing music. In fact, they're not even trying. Stop quitting the minute you start writing something and then expecting everything to just go hunky dory. No, you got to keep going. You got to keep trying. You got to keep drafting things, coming back to them, starting new things and coming back to them. Build something so you understand music more. The more you try things, the more your understanding of music and, and, and song structuring and, and building melodies start to come to you and just attach to you. Okay? Try. Get experienced. The second thing I think people don't pay enough attention to is your emotional state, okay? What do I mean by your emotional state? Do I mean not to make music at all if you're feeling a certain way? No, that's not what I mean. What I mean by your emotional state is pay attention to how you're feeling in regards to what kind of music you're making. You can't get up there, I want to make a Rough Rider type song when you're feeling like uh, XXX Tentacion. Okay, when you're feeling sad and depressed, you know, low down and stuff like that, don't get in the booth with a freaking um, DMX beat expecting for it to come out like, <laughs> like it's, it's just not going to work. Okay, you need to get in tune with your own emotional state and make sure your emotional state is matching whatever it is you are trying to do. If you are feeling happy, Focus on trying to make a happier song. If you're feeling mellow and you feel like you can make a happy or sad or whatever it is type song, then good. That's great for you. But understand that if you're not in the emotional state to make to make a particular type of music, you got to be privy of that. You got to know that. You got to know when you're angry. Know when you just got to let some bars off. Know when you got to just be aggressive with people. Know when it's time to be sad and make a Marvin's Room type of feel. Tap into the things that you are experiencing in your real life. To the things that you are really going through and channel that into your music. Don't try to force happiness when you were feeling sad. It's not going to work. You might be able to once you have that first thing we talked about, which is experience. Can, people can have a bad ass day, okay? And walk into a studio and make happy, 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 amazing, surprising hits when really they're just feeling the lowest of the low. That is for the super experienced people who've been doing this for years and, and, and practicing and, and studying and all that great stuff, okay? But for a beginner as yourself, tap into your emotional state. Know who you are. Know what you're capable of in that moment, all right? Which kind of brings us into our next uh, uh, issue with a lot of people is beat selection. Beat selection is super, duper important. Don't just pick a beat. Pick a beat that's going to speak to you. I don't care how far that beat is. If you don't feel something right here, Okay, wherever y'all hearts are, be, yeah, some of y'all hearts be on the left side. Everybody's hearts should be on the left side, okay? Wherever your heart is, if it don't make your heart do a little tingly thing, make your mind start stirring and, uh, you know what I'm saying? You 
it, it, there's a feeling everybody gets when they encounter a beat fire. If you don't know what that feeling is, you're not listening to enough beats. You're not listening to enough music. And you're not studying enough music. Get your, get, 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 get it, get a, get a, get an, uh, what do you call it these days? Damn it. Get an iPod, get an iPhone, get it, uh, uh, a Bluetooth speak, something. Find something and start listening to music you like until you find that feeling. Everybody has this mechanism that responds to instrumentals that are like, Oh, I want to write to this. I want to sing to this. I want to create something. I want to merge with this beat. Okay, if that beat don't speak to you, don't use it, okay? Uh, again, unless you are experienced and you can just get in that vibe, okay? But the beat needs to speak to you. The beat needs to be fired. The beat needs to be something that you, that can match your emotional state at the minute, at that moment, on that day. If you're feeling sad, don't look for crazy beats. Don't look for those. If you are happy, don't look for sad beats. If you are feeling aggressive, don't look for soft beats. Look for beats that are going to match how you are feeling in that moment because that is so important. It's so important. Like People don't understand that, okay? And when we try to force people are going to hear it on the song and you're going to sound whack. No one's going to know why you sound whack and now it's just it's a big mess, okay? okay? That's beat selection. The fourth thing a lot of people are really having trouble with, it's not mandatory, but just, I just think it's mandatory, okay? Y'all need to lay down your melodies, okay? Lay down your melody. Get your melodies, lay them down. Lay down your melodies, lay down your melodies. I'm gonna keep saying it because I have all these great things to say, but if you don't know how to say it or how to deliver it, it just don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. I don't care if you said a Jay-Z, Drake, a Nas, Biggie, I don't care if you said the craziest Cole Kendrick bar, it don't matter because if it don't flow, it don't go. And if it don't go, y'all know what I mean, okay? Listen, you need to lay down your melody, even if you're rapping, okay? Lay down your flow. You know what I'm saying? Singing. Uh, 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 uh. If you're having trouble laying down melodies, it's because you don't have enough experience. It's because you're not listening to enough beats. It's because you don't understand your emotional state at the time, okay? It's not hard to lay down the melody. Find a beat that matches your emotional state. Find a song that matches your emotional state. Um, 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 and make sure you're experienced. Make sure you're the type of person that's always listening to beats, that's always listening to music, that's always listening to things and understanding uh, where you have to be when you're feeling a certain emotion. Start laying down your melodies first. Once you lay down your melodies first, all you gotta do is just attach words to it. If I say, uh, 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 I already know how I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say, I just gotta find words for it. Uh, 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 why don't you lay? Why don't you lay down your melodies, okay? Like, <laughs> laying down your melodies is so important. And a lot of y'all are doing it backwards. You're writing words and you have no idea how those words are supposed to flow. You have no idea how those words are supposed to fit into your song. But if you lay down the melody first, uh, after, you can make, you can almost make anything, almost anything fit, okay? Use your imagination, all right? But lay down those melodies first, okay? Lastly, a lot of you guys aren't mapping, planning, scripting, whatever you want to call it. Don't go in blindly. Go in with a plan. Go in with an idea of what you want to leave with. Okay, I need to make a, that means I gotta find a beat like this. Maybe I need a J. Cole type beat. Maybe I need a J. Cole love type beat. Maybe I need a J. Cole love type beat and I need to add a, a hook to it. You know what I'm saying? Map it out so that you have guidelines to follow. Once you have guidelines to follow, it's very hard to fail. It's very hard to fail because you're literally just following the map that you laid out for yourself. A lot of y'all are creating blindly because you have no plan. You have no, you don't know where you're going. A lot of you are just doing things just to do it when you don't even understand what your end goal is. It's being experienced, you make sure you are checking your emotional state. You make sure you are having good beat selection. You make sure that you are laying down your melody and you make sure you are mapping. You are going to have a much successful time in the studio than the average person, than the average newbie. That's why you all are failing and you're having a hard time while you are writing or trying to write music, okay? But if you follow these steps, you're gonna find out that you're having a much easier time, okay? Thank you, all right?
If you like this video, click the link in my bio. It's my new EP that just came out. You know what I'm saying? It's called Before You Forget About Me. It's some really great songs in there. I want you to take a look at it. I want you to listen to it and listen to how it sounds when you actually follow these steps, okay? Listen to what some seasoned music sounds like, okay? If you don't like what you heard, Leave a comment. If you like what you heard, leave a comment. Hit like, hit share, send it to somebody who needs to know what to do when they are writing music. All right? I'm out. Yeah, you so different. Even missing. Show you some.